Crime without punishment caught on video. More and more Bay Area smartphone owners losing their expensive devices to strong arm robbers. Crooks look for an easy target. And if you give them a chance, they will take it. Tonight, what you can do to protect yourself and what police are doing to keep you from being a target. San Francisco police have released a video to Cron 4 News tonight. It shows how an innocent victim was targeted in such a crime. We have been asked not to show the identity of the victim or the witnesses to protect them from possible retaliation. The suspects are still on the loose. As Cron 4's Teresa Astacio reports, police say people need to be smarter about their smartphones. Watch and listen how police explain how three suspects go after a victim on this muni bus. This video what you're going to see are three suspects, actually two in the video, but this was a three-man operation. And what you see is you'll see the first suspect standing right next to the victim as the bus is driving, and the second suspect is standing right next to the rear of the door. And there's a third suspect that's out of frame, but he's in the middle of the bus. Now, the object here is that the person wearing the white shirt is the suspect that's going to take the smartphone from the victim. The second suspect by the door is the one that's going to hold the door open to make sure that the suspect has plenty of time to run out the door and it doesn't close on him. And the third suspect, which you don't see in the video, he watches the front of the bus to make sure that there aren't any good Samaritans that are going to go and aid this victim and help her in any way. So uh, again, the bus is en route, it comes to a stop. This is the perfect opportunity for the suspects to take a smartphone. The, the, the bus stops, you'll see the suspect taking the phone, the victim immediately rushes out and follows the suspect. She actually recovers her own smartphone and was able to come back onto the bus. But you can see that this isn't just a one-man operation, this is a three-man operation. And police say that with thefts on the rise, here's what they are strongly advising residents and tourists do to protect themselves. Your phones, a lot of smartphones have uh, passcode protection. I highly advise that you put a passcode protection on there. If you attempt to uh, use the passcode more than 10 times, it'll clear everything off the phone. In San Francisco, Teresa Estacio, Cron for News. Robberies are on the rise in San Francisco, and police say there's been a 25% increase. And again, back to phones, most of the thefts are of personal electronics like smartphones and MP3 players. Cron for Stanley Roberts takes a look at how people are making it easy for thieves and has tips on how to prevent this from happening. This lady with her back to the camera has absolutely no idea that I am watching her. Well, no, I did. I can't throw you after. As I get closer, still no reaction. But if you look at the reflection in the glass, you can see what has her undivided attention. It's her smartphone. I'm on Chestnut Street in San Francisco, where just recently something known as a strong arm robbery occurred. What is a strong arm robbery? It's when someone takes your personal belongings by force, like a smartphone, MP3 player, or your purse. To be frank, most people make it easy for thieves. In the Northern District, where I am right now, robberies are up 11% since January. If you know this, then you know that these numbers could go down if we don't make ourselves a victim by doing something as simple as being aware of our surroundings. These two men are sitting out having lunch. With them, one tablet and two smartphones. In one brief second, they could be gone. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to keep my hand on it, though, now yeah. that you mentioned no, it. <laughs> this is my insurance right here. Well, you're not really worried about your $600 phone. Uh, I am. Hopefully you're not going to take it. Oh, I'm not going to take it. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm kidding. Me. I'm also hearing that drug dealers are now switching from selling drugs to selling stolen electronics, simply because there's a huge market for iPhones and Android devices. And if they get caught with a bunch of phones, the police have to prove the phones were stolen but not with drugs. Look, I'm not blaming the victim for getting robbed, but crooks look for an easy target. And if you give them a chance, they will take it, even on Chestnut Street. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News. And new tonight at 8, Cron 4's Scott Reitz has tips from another expert on how to keep your property out of the wrong hands.
Cell phones hold some of our most personal information. And in our most recent study, we found that one in 10 have actually had a phone stolen from them. So technically, what can be done to protect ourselves? Lookout will um, warn you. Michelle Masick with Lookout Mobile Security says her company has the answer. We can help you find your phone by pinpointing it on a Google map, making it sound a loud scream. <laughs> If you have a PIN or passcode set on your device and it's entered incorrectly three times, the front-facing camera of your phone will snap a picture and email it to you. This is the Lookout app for Android. Christina Farr is a writer for VentureBeat.com. The website dedicated to the technical world finds that cell phone security has become a hot topic. In one of her most recent articles, Farr talks about her own bad experience. A gang approached me and they held out a knife and they said, um, give me your phone. And that's what prompted Farr to do some research. More likely um, than not, these thieves have done this, you know, thousands of times and they know to switch the phone off. A lot of times thieves will turn on the device after a day or two um, before they, so they can wipe it and resell it. And that, at that point, Lookout will send you an email with the location. Farr says that until California passes laws that require cell phone companies to render a phone useless if it's reported stolen, the problem will continue. Really what needs to happen is that thieves have to... Have have to steal a certain number of phones and then realize that they can't resell them and that there's no market there. And if you do want to download that Lookout app, it's a free application. You can either get it on the Android market or you can go to the App Store on your iPhone. Reporting in San Francisco, Scott Rates, Cron 4 News.